guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm here with a highly requested video, and it's my closet tour. And as you can tell, this is not the same closet that was in my previous room tour because we have new houses. Once again, I got stuck with a smaller room, and I got stuck with a jankier closet. So, let's see what we can find in here. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even clean my closet before we filmed this because I was like, hey, this is how it is every single day, and I'm not going to pretend to be clean and organized when I'm not. So I find that there are advantages and disadvantages to having one of these open closets instead of a walk-in closet. I find that I can see all of my clothes a lot better than with my walk-in closet, and I wear a lot more of my clothes. The only thing is I can't stash and hide junk in the closet like I could in my other closet because it's always open. Um, and here I have a majority of my clothes hanging up. Um, and these I wear the most often. I also have some clothes in a dresser, but these are the ones I usually grab the most. I also have my shorts and my skirts and pants and stuff like that hanging right here. Um, so it's like double storage, which is really good because I just have these bars that hang and then create like another floating thing down here so that's one way to get extra storage out of this tiny little closet uh when we first moved into here this this bar did not hold all of my clothes it was actually starting to bow downward so greg being the handyman that he is decided to put like a little um hook thing and hook some wire onto it so it like holds better it doesn't still look straight but you know what it's better than nothing. So those are my clothes. Um, moving on to the top area, as I said, I didn't clean it. So those are just my shoes that I don't usually wear. Um, yeah, they're ones that I don't ever wear, uh, in all honesty. But let's let's bring down a pair of shoes. Luckily, I'm, I'm tall enough. And these shoes are from eBay. Um, yeah, this was supposed to look like wood, funny story, and it actually, when it came, looks like plastic. So, just a little reminder, don't order things off of eBay, they're kind of sketchy. So moving on to the bottom portion of my closet, it really isn't my closet, it's more like the floor. I have uh, just flats and tinny runners that I wear most of the time. Some of them are hidden back here that smell really bad, I'm not going to lie, I throw them back there so they don't make my room smell really bad. Um, and if you guys follow my blog, when we were moving in, into this new house, I said I was super excited because the whole house is covered in tiled floor. Now, thinking back, I wish that it wasn't tile because there's like dust bunnies all back here and it's really hard to get uh, the mop and the broom back there because I am too lazy to move the shoes. Uh, so those are just some shoes right there. Over here, if you want to pan over here is this furry hat that I keep here that Melissa bought me when she first started working at H&M. And if you guys remember, these were all the rage like a few years ago. And I just think like maybe someday it'll snow in Scottsdale and oh, I'll be able to wear this. But it probably never will. How do I look? Do I look cool? Get a close up of this. Hey guys. Yeah, I'm already starting to get hot. <laughs> this is super hot. <laughs> Now we're gonna wear it. So I always just keep that right here and I honestly couldn't tell you why because I never use it. Uh, and then moving on to the other side, over here, I have my, ooh, dust bite. I have my little floral head wreath that I made here, Lana Del Rey inspired and the roses, it's made pretty crappy. So the roses are always falling out of it. Um, I have my Versace hanger that I don't have my Versace shirt on. And then if you pan down here, I always think I'm going to use this. I just have my iPad uh, pouch thing that it came in. I don't know why I have an obsession with keeping things that I'm probably never going to use like this. I could probably just throw this away, um, but I won't. And then I have more, more roses. Yay! Um, and then I have my Canon film camera that my Uncle David gave me for when I was in photography class that I never finished. Oops. Uh, what else did I... Oh, this is like my little... Oh, I have another camera. This is like my little arts and crafts section. It's like a lot of little art projects that I started and I never finished. For example, these Mew Mew inspired tights that I never got around to finishing. And... 
fabric for some shorts that I was going to make last summer. Um, and then this little embroidered ribbon that I was going to make into a headband last year. Uh, so this is where all of my arts and crafts stuff goes that I don't ever finish and I just keep it here. Sometimes I think, hey, I should probably like do something with that and then I think, no, maybe I'll get around to, you know, making shorts that are already outdated. So now I'm going to share with you guys a few of my favorite pieces in my closet or of my wardrobe. So... This was my mom's denim jacket, and it's legit vintage Levi, and um, I decided to keep this when she passed away because denim jackets are always going to be on trend and in style, so it is a little bit oversized, and I was thinking, hey, maybe I'll cut the sleeves off, you know, but then I was like, no, it's my mom's, or it was my mom's, and I actually wear this out sometimes when it's really cold because I just feel like... It gives me warmth that I need, and so this is seriously one of my favorite things in my closet, and I'll never get rid of it. Once again, another item in my closet is this H&M turtleneck sweater, and Melissa bought this for me two winters ago. Wow, it's been so long. Two winters ago at H&M, and I had to have it because it was like a price ad, and um, this is actually a large because the small was like really tight, and mm-mm, I like my things oversized. and. As you can tell by all of my favorites, they're long sleeve and they're thick and they're warm. I don't know why I have them, I don't know why I wear them because here it's like tank tops and shorts. Uh, but this is one of my favorites, I will never get rid of this. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't think I've ever washed this. And I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, that is disgusting. And it probably is, but I'm scared it's going to shrink and I don't want it to shrink. And so yeah, I'm, I don't think I've ever washed this sweater. So another one of my favorite things in my closet is something that Melissa hates. They're my Jeffrey, yep, they're Jeffrey Campbell mention shoes, flats in leopard. And these are the shoes that smell really, really bad. Uh, they smell super bad, and so I keep them in the corner of my closet um, until I'm going to wear them. And I wore them the other day to work and I was just like, I need to seriously throw these shoes away. Like, I can't even donate these to Goodwill because nobody will want them. They smell so bad. Uh, and yeah, but th I can still get some good use out of them, I think. So I decided, no, I'm not going to, when I got home, I was like, I'm not going to throw them away yet, you know. Maybe I'll wear them a few more times. Maybe I'll wear them to like Big Surf or the beach or maybe I'll just like get them wet and see if I can salvage them. But they're kind of disgusting, and so I'm going to put them back down. Luckily, you guys can't smell the stench through the screen, and that's a good thing. Alright, everybody, so that has been my closet tour, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys aren't super creeped out by a few things that have been mentioned in this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!